So today is First Friday and uh, I just want to give a shout out to Derry. There is adoration in Derry, not organised, I'm nothing to do with it. I'm just giving a plug to the adoration that was that's planned there on the First Friday with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal from 10, 7, sorry, from 7 to 10 p.m. tonight in Derry. Uh, I think it's a powerful, powerful way of, of healing. Um, you know, the Eucharist heals. The Eucharist heals. Our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, he actually does heal. He heals us in, in, in all different places and he gives us peace. And uh, there's been a lot of men reaching out to me. A lot of stories coming to me about the adoration that was done on the 19th of November. A lot, a lot of stories. And uh, that's our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he actually does. You know, we just have to point people to Christ and he does the healing. You know, evangelization is putting people in front of our Lord Jesus Christ to encounter the living, beating heart of the second person, the Holy Trinity. Body, blood, soul and divinity of the second person, the Holy Trinity. The living, beating heart of Christ. You know, the, the, the whole person, the whole God that's there. Um, the man that walked on earth, that's Jesus Christ. And he wants to have that intimate relationship with you. And if we can promote adoration or get people to adoration, um, they will understand this because he does his work. He simply does. Our Lord Jesus Christ wants to have that intimate relationship and he wants to give peace. And a lot of men are not at peace. That's why they came. That's why they were curious about adoration. That's why they were curious about the 19th of November. And they were, they were not at peace. And when they came, the road to healing starts confession the road to healing starts christ doesn't care about your past he doesn't want you living in the past and he doesn't want you anxious about the future he wants you fully present with him in this moment of time so tonight um today is the friday the 2nd of december tonight in Derry, from 7 p.m to 10 p.m in saint joseph's chapel Derry healing night with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. You'll have confession there if you want it, adoration, healing. I do recommend you go there. I'm in Singapore at the moment, so I won't be there, but um, I do recommend you go to adoration and uh, ask Christ for what you need. Ask him for healing. He wants to heal. He wants you in peace. Ask him, ask him, you know, just go there. Lord, help me. What can, help me. He will help you. I guarantee you, there is no doubt whatsoever in my mind that if you ask Jesus Christ for help, he helps. Just ask him. That's all you need to do. Go there and ask him to heal you if you need healing. If you need help, uh, talk it out. Talk it out. Go to confession. Talk it out with others. Get help. Um, it's, a powerful, it's a powerful way. I wish this was done more in Ireland. I wish adoration was promoted more in Ireland. I wish people understand the real power of the Eucharist, the real power that Jesus Christ gives. And get the healing that he actually does. He, he, he actually does want to heal. He wants to get in there and transform souls. But he respects your will. And if you don't ask, if you don't point people to Christ, they don't know about this great mystery. So uh, anyway, just, just uh, giving a plug to, to this adoration this evening. Franciscan Friars, the renewal, 7, 7 um, p.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. this evening. So um, just go there. If you And if you haven't been to adoration in a while, go there. Go there, get confession. You know, you don't need to live in depression and anxiety and fear and shame and in your defects. You can go and you can change and you can get healing. Christ doesn't care about what you've done. Christ cares about what you do today. If you hear his voice today, don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart to Christ's call. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.